what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today is gonna be episode 132 and today we're gonna be in Austin Texas with it all right so we're gonna be taking a look at Tesla specifically we're gonna be taking a look at how to become a millionaire investing in Tesla's stock all right so I decided to do this video today because Tesla has been trending and it has had a host of good news I told you guys in episode uh, 129 when I did the video um, pointing out three stocks that were printing right now Tesla was one of those stocks and at the time it was speculated that they were selling a lot of Tesla trucks based on some recall information that came out well the numbers did come out on Tesla the numbers were smashed meaning that they were above they beat the expectations uh, set by analysts and then we also have um, new numbers coming out on another one of Tesla's products so we're gonna go ahead and get into it so let me give you guys a quick summary on what we're gonna cover today in this video uh, so first we have three articles that we're just gonna skim over and I'll link the articles in the description so you guys can read them for yourselves uh, then we're gonna look at Tesla on the chart and just look at some key levels and then um, we're also gonna take a look at Tesla's website and we're gonna go over some um, basic information on that website that I think is important and then lastly we're gonna go ahead and um, pull up our compound interest calculator and pull up uh, pretty much create like a hypothetical situation of putting in a certain amount every month for a certain amount of time based on Tesla's uh, previous history all right so let's get right into the video all right so we have Tesla pulled up here on Robinhood guys and as you can see it is actually up pre-market if we go for the week so far Tesla's up 24 percent and um, it just seems to be surging all right now over max time Tesla is actually up 18,000 percent but if we look at it over five years it is up uh, 1400 percent so the stock has been surging now past year it was down 15 percent and in year to date it's actually down six percent but I see this uh, number actually going down because the stock just keeps gaining momentum also a lot of these other competitors like Rivian uh, lucid you know these guys are gonna go away believe me when I tell you all right so let's go ahead and hop into the first article and um, see exactly what's going on with Tesla right now all right so first article here is by Reuters and it says here that um, Tesla gains as brokerages hike price target after Q after Q2 deliveries beat all right so first point here says uh, shares of electric vehicle maker Tesla rose 3.7 percent to 239.80 in pre-market after a 10 percent jump on Tuesday so pre-market it was as high as 239 you guys know that Tesla is very volatile right now you see it's 233 but I easily see this going back up to this level and um, potentially continue all right so it says here after a very choppy start to 2024 musk and company we believe the tesla demand story has made a significant turn for the positive with stronger than expected um, second quarter deliveries and this is by wedbush all right another big analyst uh, brokerage raises price target to 300 from 275 so they up the price target on Tesla to $300 coming from 275 and then we have another one here that says um, can accord uh, genuity hikes price target to 254 from 222 so it's just getting a lot of um, price hikes from analysts the next article here goes into after they came out and and beat um, delivery expectations then these numbers were also released it says here that Tesla Tesla 
more than doubles energy storage deployment to mark its best quarter yet, even as EV demand concerns persist. All right, so this article just pretty much says here, uh, EV giant Tesla said on Tuesday that it deployed 9.4 gigawatt hours of energy storage products in the second quarter, marking its highest quarter de deployment yet and a jump of nearly 132% from the first quarter. All right, so this is the next product that Tesla is or service that Tesla is going to be making a lot of money on and analysts are really hyped about this and I could see why you know a hundred and thirty thirty two percent is a massive massive gain all right so this is potentially going to be another um, big business factor another source of revenue for Tesla and this third article is going to go ahead and dive into some of the things that Tesla could potentially focus on to try and gain more revenues as well and continue to grow. All right, this one here says uh, Tesla deliveries surprised three ways Elon Musk can drive the stock forward and a few other things to know today. And this is by Barron's, okay? So we go ahead and scroll down here. It says Tesla delivery numbers seem to be well received. But to keep shares motoring after yesterday's 10% jump, CEO Elon Musk needs to focus on these important things. The first thing is he needs to continue to maintain expectations. Tesla sold almost 5% fewer EVs in the second quarter than it did a year earlier. Not exactly a positive data point, yet the stock still rose. And that's because it beat estimates. That's a double achievement. It's really tough to be an EV maker these days when demand is cooling and competition from China is getting even more cutthroat. But it was also a win in controlling the narrative. Uh, me personally, I'm not really concerned about China. I'll be honest with you. They're good at copying stuff. Visually, it looks good, but the quality is never on par. You know, you're paying pennies on the dollars. For workers, you're not going to get quality work, you know. So I'm not really concerned about China. Um, Musk is certainly capable of inspiring, but he also needs to be honest about limitations. He could take a lesson from Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell in communicating cautious optimism, who has kept hopes alive without yet delivering any interest rate cuts. So we go down here, and then it says, the second thing is Tesla needs to be very careful to make sure its cars maintain their cachet and have a distinct point of difference, even if they are making a move towards an entry-level product. But I always said this, guys. I always said, you know, when you're buying a, 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 a Tesla, you're not just buying an EV. You're buying a Tesla. You're buying into the brand. You know, it's just like Apple and the iPhone. There's a bunch of different phones, different competitors. Apple has maintained its position because it's dominant with its branding. And I feel that's the biggest advantage that Tesla has against all these other companies. All right. When products become commoditized, many producers offering similar things, it needs to be true to its brand. Look at how Apple has managed to keep selling personal computers and phones, even as competitors offer cheaper alternatives with higher specifications. Exactly. So the final point here says Musk needs to retain a steely focus on his main gig, while a $56 billion pay package would be an incentive to most. Musk has always been driven by achieving the impossible. Side projects such as energy storage might seem like a distraction. They, they could actually catapult te Tesla's fortunes. And we just saw that article, 132% uh, spike in energy, energy. That's massive. All right. Uh, things like robots and artificial intelligence could be long shots. Mm, 
I don't know, man. The way things are advancing, who knows? You know, and I'll be honest with you. If anyone is really capable at this point to put a robot in your living room, in your house, I honestly think it would be Tesla. The brand is so powerful. The brand is so strong. They have such a massive cult following. I think people would buy a Tesla robot over any other robot first. You know, so that's definitely um, something that, you know, I see could put, I'm not saying right now, but I see that happening within three to five years. All right. Same thing with AI. They're on the ball too, trying to make waves with AI. They're making partnerships with NVIDIA, um, ARM, a bunch of different other companies to make it happen. So who knows? All right. Um, SpaceX is literally a moonshot. That I kind of agree with. Now that's like way out there. But right now, like I said, if you look at Tesla, it, it's kind of become like a lifestyle product too. So they're looking at, you know, integrating their branding into everyday uh, lifestyles. Um, they also have, they have ATVs for your kid. They have a, a Tesla Cybertruck for your kid, right? Um, they have the bags, they have the accessories. So they have a lot of things that they're incorporating and obviously they're selling these products from their website. So if it comes in at an affordable price point, I definitely could see the whole AI robot thing start coming into people's homes and people will open up to it because remember, brand recognition breeds trust. And once you trust something, you're usually willing to try it. All right. So let's go ahead now and just hop into the chart real quick. And um, we're going to take a look at some key levels on Tesla. All right. So here we have Tesla pulled up in the charts and we have it on the daily. Right now, pre-market Tesla is around here, which is 234. But mind you, if you go back and you look at the dates, da, 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 let's go down to here. 220, right? That was yesterday. And look, so from yesterday to now, today, this thing is made, what is that? Almost like a, what, a $14 move within one day. So this stock is really, really, really skyrocketing. And I could see it going back up to this high here, which is around 256 very, very shortly. One of the ways that you could also make extra income from the stock is by playing options. This stock is definitely on an upward move. It's riding on the momentum. And once the thing with Tesla, once this momentum train starts going, it's just going to keep going. Now, pre-market, it was all the way up to this level here, which is 240. So, right. So from 240 to here to get to 256, it's about a $16 move. If we go ahead and we take a look here. And we go to our forecasting tool, right? Let's say we take it from this 240 level and we bring it up to here. So we're looking at, what is this? Five days if it continues this momentum. Is this possible? Very likely, you know. It's very likely that within five days, it could get back to this, this high here of uh, 256, which would be really, really crazy. Uh, you know, last time it was at this level, it says here, was in um, May. All right. So let's go ahead and hop on over to the Tesla website. And we're just going to look at some basic information. And then All right. So here we are on the Tesla website. So this just shows, like, you know, an overview of the products, the factory, their gigafactories, the storage facilities, solar. We got the Cybertruck. And we have the other EVs. They also have um, those commercial vehicles those as well. All right. Now we go ahead and we scroll down here. And what I wanted to show you guys is it says the future is sustainable. All right. And what I wanted to show you guys is this impact report. It's just like a summary. All right. They have the full report here. But this is just kind of like a... a 
summary of what's going on. So we got the cyber truck zooming through the desert. And we go ahead and we scroll down here. It says 20 million metric tons of CO2 avoided. All right. So Tesla is making an impact on the environment. We scroll down here and it says tackling climate change and it gives you these numbers. So the, this area just indicates the impact that Tesla is having on climate change. It says here providing an ecosystem. All right. So we do have the batteries. We have solar power. We have energy storage. Right. And then we have bi-directional charging. We have electric vehicles. They have the robo taxi thing coming out. We have auto bidder. And then we have um, their full self-driving. So they have an entire ecosystem focused around energy storage, energy production, and pretty much focusing on like lowering, you know, their impact on the environment. All right, it says here, average uptime of um, supercharged sites, 2023, 100%. And then it says here, more affordable than you think. Model Y comes standard with premium features that create driving experience rivaling that of luxury vehicles, which have a much higher average ownership cost. When you factor in incentives, fuel savings, and minimal maintenance, Model Y has ownership costs close to those of mass marketed less premium vehicles all right and then it just gives you here it says the total cost of ownership and this is dollars per mile said five years and sixty thousand miles for the bmw x3 it's costing you a dollar and 17 cents per mile and for the model y it only costs 70 cents per mile so just some uh, crazy numbers here all right, so let's go ahead now and just punch the numbers and take a look at contributions that we would make to get to millionaire status investing in Tesla. All right, so we have uh, Tesla up here on the screen in Robinhood. And what I wanted to show you guys is this five-year mark. So for five years, it is up 1,400%. The system that we're going to be using doesn't even allow us to punch in those kind of numbers. This is a compound interest calculator by um, NerdWallet. All right. So the maximum it allows in terms of return is 50%. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. Um, and some people might say, oh, yeah, 50% 50, 50 is not sustainable. I saw that in the last video that I did with um, NVIDIA. That's why it's called hypothetical, sir. All right. Don't get yourself all worked up. Get a heart attack over this. It's a hypothetical situation. All right. So we're going to pop in 50%. As you guys could see, over this week alone, Tesla is up 25%. So 50% a year for, say, three to five years, very sustainable. And obviously, it could fly past those numbers if you look at the five-year mark. All right. So let's go ahead and start out with, let's say we start out with, I don't know. We start out with zero dollars. We don't have any money. But let's say we decide to put in $200 a month, right? So we're going to add $200 a month. So every month, we're going to be buying $200 right so annually that would be 2400 right so 2400 and we're going to switch this to annually let's say we give it 10 years to grow right at 50 percent we are at 83,000. let's go ahead and put an initial deposit of say one year so we start out with 2400 I don't know, you sold a car, you, I don't know, you got your tax return or something like that. But we started out with 2400 We started out with 2400 and we're putting in 2400 annually for 10 years at an average rate of return of 50%. We're at 827000 Now, once we go ahead and up the years, 
Say we go to 11 years. Boom. We're at 1.3 million. All right. We're at 1.3 million. I don't know. Let's go to 13 years. We're at 3 million. We go back. We go to 15 years. We're at 9 million. Investing $200 a month for 15 years with an initial deposit of 2400 all right, so let's say we start with $5,000, right? And we're going to go ahead and we're going to still do the $200 a month, so that's $2,400 a year. We do this annually, and we give ourselves 10 years. But our ROI here is 50%. Sorry, 50%. We are at 1 million. So 5,000 initial deposit. Then we're given $200 a month, which is 2,400 a year. 10 years to grow with say an average of around 50%. As I've showed you guys, you know, Tesla has the potential to go really crazy. Just this week alone, it is up 25%. All right. So let's say now we decide, okay, you know, I'm, I'm 20 now, 10 years is good. I'll be 30, but what about if I was 35? So let's move this to 15 years. You're at 13 million. See how crazy these numbers are. So if you go 10 years, you just have 1 million, $5,000 initial deposit. You're given 200 a month in 10 years, you're at 1.1 million. But if you decide to wait five more years, that one million now turns to 13 million. That is the power of compound interest. All right. Now, like I said before, obviously the situation is hypothetical, but based on Tesla's track record over the long term, is this achievable? I would say 100 percent. I would say 100 percent. This is a stock that I am heavily invested in it is a company that i believe it's a trailblazing company they're constantly innovating you know i remember when the the, the cyber truck came out when they unveiled it at first people are like oh it's unrealistic that thing is selling like hot cakes right now all right so very very possible they have new potential um with this energy storage right Obviously, the numbers are very, very impressive in that at 132% increase. So that's going to be another source of revenue. And like I said before, if anybody else can probably put a robot inside your house first, I think it's going to be Tesla. All right. Yes, the moon mission and all that other stuff is very far fetched. But with Tesla's branding, that is where the power of this company comes in. Now, whether you want to invest in this company or not, that's entirely up to you. I'm just giving you my insights on why I'm heavily invested in this stock. All right. But that's it for the video today, guys. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please consider subscribing. I make new videos like this every day, dropping gems that you could use along your investing journey. Please go ahead and like this video. Also share this video with a family member or a friend. Thanks again for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Y'all stay safe and have a blessed day. Peace.